Norwich, city of broads and of East Anglia, with a fine cathedral rearing its graceful spire above the historic town. The spire is second in height only to that of Salisbury, but it is no less beautiful. Eight centuries ago, the first Bishop of Norwich laid the foundation of the cathedral, which was completed 50 years later, and with its wonderful examples of symmetry, seems like a precious jewel set within the city's gate. Near the cloisters is the grave of Nas Cavell. Norwich has an authentic history of a thousand years, which should be enough for any self-respecting city, particularly when at that time it became possessed of a mint. The mint has disappeared, but the quaint corners of the city remain. In their picturesque quietude, they seem to express the comparatively peaceful evolution of Norwich, which has been represented in Parliament for over 600 years. Flanked by the 15th century Flintwack Guildhall, the marketplace is somewhat reminiscent of the continent in its general atmosphere. With all its historic associations, Norwich Act lacks nothing in modernity. The fine streets and public gardens show that while she is proud of the past, she is not unmindful of the present and the future. The city lies in the valley of the Wensum, which later joins the river Yer before winding its picturesque way to the coast. High upon a steep mound, the castle retains only the Norman keep of any antiquity, whilst the outer buildings have been replaced by more modern structures. But it is from the castle that one can appreciate the city lying below. Progress has mellowed its utility, and the castle's dominating position is a pride instead of a terror. <laughs> 